what does this ruling mean to Parliament as an independent institution? Thank you very much, uh, Benjamin. Um, well, you know, we've spoken about this about a, a number of times, a couple of times, and I had always said that because of the disagreements over whether the, the deputy speaker presiding uh, should be able to vote or not, some of us suggested that the appropriate place to go was the Supreme Court. But the moment you have disagreements over a law, the place to go is the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court, uh, by my little knowledge of law, you go there on the point of law. So that if there's a provision in a law that is not clear, people disagree over what that provision means, the place to go is the Supreme Court. And that's a final place, final arbiter. So the decision of the Supreme Court is final. And so I'm happy that at the end of the day, we got to the Supreme, the Supreme Court, sorry, and that a decision has been made. Now what we have to look at are the ramifications going forward, how we have to look at this and make sure that uh, we take the right decisions in, in, in Parliament and make sure that parliament functions as we expect it to, to function. Because we know that for some time now, the whole of this year, we haven't been able to do any substantial work as, as a parliament. So for me, this decision must settle the arguments so that we, we can move on. The disagreements will normally come, but when the final decision maker makes a decision, it binds everybody. And let's take uh, well, that's that's the whole point.